Well, this book happened uh, purely by uh, coincidence. I met Captain Mohan Narayan Rao Samant, uh, war hero of the 1971 war. He was decorated with the Mahavir Chakra, which is our second highest uh, award for uh, gallantry. And uh, Captain Samant had played a very key role in a covert operation during the 1971 war. And this covert operation is possibly one of the largest such uh, naval guerrilla operations after the Second World War. And uh, this involved training 432 Mukti Bahini uh, uh, fighters from Bengal, from uh, East Pakistan uh, to become combat swimmers, which meant that they were taught to swim carrying limpet mines. They were trained as naval saboteurs. And this training began somewhere in April of, or May of 1971, and it went on till August of 1971. And between August 71 and November 1971, these 400 naval commandos, as we call them, carried out massive attacks, attacking Pakistani shipping in what was then East Pakistan. And this is really important why they did these, carried out these attacks, is the fact that the East Pakistan military garrison, what was called East Pakistan then, was supplied primarily through the sea route because the uh, land border, as you know, uh, was 2,000 kilometers away from uh, West Pakistan. So the fastest way, the, the most efficient way for them to supply this East Pakistan was through the sea route. And that is where the Indian Navy and uh, the Mukti Bahini, the government of exile uh, of Bangladesh in uh, India, they decided on these joint operations to paralyze the waterways uh, of East Pakistan to attack the merchant ships that were bringing in supplies for the Pakistan garrison in 1971. Uh, they carried out a hundred, uh, they carried out attacks between August and November and it uh, sank or disabled something like a hundred thousand tons of shipping. Uh, in one such attack on the night of 15th August 1971, they sank or disabled more than 40,000 tons of ships. Uh, they, uh, uh, you know, sank, disabled more than a dozen of these ships in four ports of East Pakistan. Now, what is the importance of these uh, naval commando operations as we call them? Now, the importance is the fact that every ship that was bringing in supplies to East Pakistan, every ship that was attacked meant that the Pakistan army had that much less supplies to rely on. Every barge with ammunition that was attacked by these naval commandos meant that there were fewer bullets for the Pakistan army to fire on the defenseless uh, Bengali civilians of East Pakistan, later Bangladesh. And most importantly, every attack that was carried out by these naval commandos, whether it was successful or not, meant that the Pakistan military had to pull its forces away from the borders with India and uh, get them, deploy them to guard the ports and the waterways and the riverine areas, which meant that it uh, took a lot of pressure of the Mukti Bahini land forces that were uh, fighting uh, the Pakistan army. So this was a operation of a nature that had no, not been seen since the Second World War. This kind of naval guerrilla operation, uh, it was a covert operation where uh, the Indian Navy trained, equipped and supported the Bangladeshi freedom fighters. This kind of an operation has not been done since the Second World War on this scale. And uh, this is one of the most effective operations of the Mukti Bahini. This fact has been acknowledged by several Indian Army veterans, including uh, Lieutenant General J.F.R. Jacob, and of course, uh, some of the most able military historians who've documented this war, this, the fact that you carried out such an intelligent campaign, rather than carrying out direct attacks, this was a naval guerrilla campaign, a very unique campaign where you were targeting the enemy's uh, supply routes. You were targeting the merchant ships that were bringing in the arms, the ammunition, the equipment, the personnel to keep him supplied. And this is one of the very important factors that contributed to the eventual surrender of the Pakistan army on the 16th of December, 1971.